and we will go ahead and echo our lowercase variable. So if all went well, we should see I am not very angry anymore in all lowercase. Right below, I am very angry when we refresh, assuming that you saved and uploaded to your browser. And there you have it. It made all this lowercase. I am not very angry anymore. Now, I know you ask yourself, well, there's probably not very many reasons I need to use this. Um, well, there are certain circumstances where you would need to use it, and that would be one of the most common um, when you need to verify two strings with each other and you want to make sure that the case-sensitive situation isn't being a factor. For example, let's say uh, username and password. Let's say you don't want it to be case-sensitive. and Let's say they type in their password, and their password is my code teacher that they type in. But in the database, it's actually my code teacher or something like that. Well, you know they have the right password, but unfortunately, um, the database might say, well, this is actually different from this. So let's go ahead and figure out what we do to fix it. Well, if you said, let's check out string to upper my code teacher and string to upper this form of my code teacher they would both return my code teacher and my code teacher as you can see right here this isn't proper syntax right here this is of course just examples but my point is is that by making both of those uppercase or lowercase it wouldn't matter in this case they're they're still the same so that would get rid of the case sensitive situation right there for you. Let's go ahead and start with function example three. And this is one of my favorites. It's called the explode function in PHP. Now let's say we we have a website and we want to, you know, verify a credit card bill or credit card number or whatever. Well, some terminals or gateways, you know, they might um have a certain specific number that has dashes in it and one might require one without. But let's say we, someone types in a credit card number with dashes in it and the server requires that it doesn't have dashes in it. Well, how would we remove the dashes? The explode method would be a perfect way to do it. Well, let's start by creating a credit card string. So we'll call this credit card number and we're going to put in a fake credit card number here we'll just say one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 okay so we've got our credit card number now what would we do if we wanted to parse it we need to parse the credit card array so I'm just gonna make a string called parse credit card array and we are gonna use the function called explode and the very first argument that you need to put into it is what are you going to split the credit card number up by well we need to split it up by the dashes, okay? Because there's a pattern with the dashes and we need to get rid of the dashes. So we're gonna put our dash in here, okay? And then it's gonna ask you, well, what string are you trying to split up? So we put a comma and we put our next parameter in and that's gonna be the credit card number. So now we have been given an array assigned to the value parse credit card array and that's gonna contain four different splits or four different pieces of the original of the original string credit card number what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all the characters in the first section until it finds a dash so it finds one no dash move on to the next two no dash move on three move on move on etc oh we found a dash right here so we're gonna make this four group and we're gonna skip the dash and move on to the next one nothing 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 up oh, we found something so this is gonna be part of group two now we found nothing, 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 nothing. Up, oh, we found one, so group three, etc. So now what it did is it split it up into four groups and there's no dashes in it anymore. Now we need to figure out, now that we have four groups of numbers, we need to figure out how to put the numbers back together so that we can have our credit card number without the dashes in it. Okay? So what we do that is let's go ahead and echo our separator. And I'm going to show you the different pieces of the credit card number. As I was just explaining, it splits it up into four parts and I'm going to show you how to access those four parts. Remember an array starts at index zero and what I mean by that is we're going to show parse credit card array. We need to <clears throat> echo this. 
and you can access the index by using these brackets right here and it starts at index 0 so for the first group it would be 0 and that should show 1 1 1 1 okay let's echo our separator and show the group 2 parse credit card array and that would be at index 1 because group 2 is really index 1 and group 1 is really index 0 etc so let's go ahead and save and just make sure we're on the right track and that it's actually splitting up here go to our web and we should see 1111 and 2222 there we have it so we split that up correctly let's go ahead and echo our separator and show group 3 and 4 group 3 would be 3 minus 1 which is 2 index 2 group 4 would be index 3 okay so now we should see 333444 3, 4, 4. so I mistyped our separator here let's go ahead and add an A in there happens there we go alright so now that we have our four parts and we know how to access it with these variables right here that's gonna help us put it back together so now we're gonna call this new credit card equals and my favorite one to use is the double quotes because it's extremely easy to put the <clears throat> strings inside the double quotes and display them so we're going to do parse credit card array zero because we want our first chunk first and second chunk second parse credit card array one and then again we'll put the third part in there two and finally our fourth one three okay so now we've got our variable called new credit card and we're going to go ahead and let's put our separator in here and we're going to echo our new credit card so let's go ahead and save and see what it looks like and there we have it there's our credit card number without the dashes so as you can see the explode function is a very cool function there's a lot required to put it back together but it is very very neat to use so there you have it. It would also be useful for um, well let's let's do another example here. Um, for example, let's do function example four explode example two. Well let's say we have a birthday here and we're gonna give it um, let's say this was the entered birthday, oh nine thirty nineteen oh two, just as an example and we know that we need to get the the month of the birthday, okay? So let's go ahead and explode it. Birthday array equals explode. And we're exploding based off of the forward slash because we're trying to split it up by that pattern right there. And we have to give it the name of the string we're trying to explode, which would be birthday. Now we need to know the month and basically all we do is we take the first the first section of the exploded array so we'll just call this month equals birthday array and zero because it's the first group so that means it's the uh, zero at index zero okay let's go ahead and just echo our separator and we'll go ahead and echo month here let's go ahead and save and view it and it should say 09 and there you have it so that's just another quick example on how you can pull out certain items using the explode function it's, it's one of my favorite it's really nice alright now moving on we're gonna get into the string split so this will be function example 5 string split this one's actually pretty pretty simple to do Let's just make a, an array, or not an array, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and make a variable called long text. And let's just type a bunch of crap in here. It's something very long, you know. How about uh, this is a very long.